Hey guys, what's new? Um, I'm coming to you today with an update on trying to conceive. I am currently on calendar day 23. And um, today I went into my OB's office and I got a um, I got a 23 day um, checkup blood work to see how I responded to Clomid. I'm just expecting those results um, soon. And I will update a video with those results whenever they come in. Um, oh my god, these last couple of weeks have been ex excruciatingly painful because I don't know, I just been having all these strange symptoms that I never get. And I am chucking it up to the COVID. I'm not jumping to any conclusions. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm just not going to jump to any conclusions and say, oh, yeah, this is this, this is that, that's that. Because you can call a pregnancy all you want. But if you're not pregnant, you're not pregnant, point blank, period, no matter what you may have been feeling, no matter how many twinges you felt, no matter how nauseous you were, if you're if you're pregnant, it'll come out, it'll show. Anyway, um I have been having symptoms though, nonetheless, and I will tell you what they have been. I have been painfully tired, like extremely fatigued. Um, it's been hard for me to do like simple little chores like cooking and cleaning and doing my hair and things like that. It's been really, really difficult to do that because I am literally that tired. Like I feel like, um, I just got hit by a truck or something. That's how painfully tired that I've been. Also, um, my, my boobs, my nipples, they just feel extremely heavy like they weigh like 500 million pounds or something because they're just like heavy just like even now like this shirt it's just like it's not normally like this on me um it's just like freaking just making my boobs just pop out and I don't know why and I just gave up trying to fix it though if that offends you I'm sorry but it's life Anyways, <laughs> um, they have been feeling really, really heavy, extremely, extremely heavy. And then it's not just that. It's the fact that my nipples are so freaking sore, painfully sore. I was sleeping last night and um, I moved a certain way. And then I felt my comforter brush up across the nipple and I hopped up yelling. And my husband wakes up like, what is your problem? <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up, but I'm in a lot of excruciating pain. My nipples feel like they're on fire. It feels like somebody's just decided to put... Um, what are those freaking wooden things that hold up clothes, whatever it's called, just stuck one of those on both of these and just left it for like six, seven, eight, nine days. It, it hurts really, really bad. Really, really painful. So I've been having fatigue. I've been having nipple pain. I've been having heavy breast. Um, I've been waking up at 4 a.m. urinating. And pretty much those have been my symptoms so far. But like I said, I'm not chucking it up to pregnancy because I also know that Clomid raises your progesterone levels. And when that's elevated, it can cause pregnant, pregnancy symptoms. So um, I'm just not 
you know, I'm just waiting till I get a, a positive HPT. And when I get that, then I will talk about being pregnant. Um, another weird thing that ha- that has been happening is that um, my OPKs went back to positive. They just went back to positive randomly. Why am I still testing this late? Because I'm a weirdo. And because when I have the urge to test, um, I'm going to do it no matter what, even though I know I'm not supposed to. So, yeah, I did it. <laughs> and I test. I started testing. Actually, I never stopped testing after I got my positive um, OPK. And I got that on calendar day 13. I got my positive And ever since then, I've been testing all the way up until calendar day 23, which is today. So I've been testing. um, And on calendar day 13, my OPK was a blazing positive. And then 14, it went to kind of positive, but not really. Um, 15, it went negative. 16, it went negative. Um, 17, it went negative. 18, it was negative. And then 19, it was like blazing positive. And then it's been that way ever since calendar day 19. It's been it's been the blazing positive. So I'm gonna show that to you. Um I'm gonna start with calendar day 15. Well, yeah, I'm gonna start with calendar day 15 for you. So, calendar day 15 is the first OPK. Let me cut that off. That's annoying. Calendar day... Where am I? I don't even know where I am. Okay. Calendar day 15 is the first OPK that's not cut off. Um, And then there's 15. After 15, you can see 16. And then you can see 17. And then you can see 18. And those are all negative. And then it goes to blazing positive on 19 through 23. The very last OPK is is today, 23. Um, And then you can't really see it like I can see it because of light reflections. But today I took one and I took two, one in the morning and one at night. And they were both positive. Um, blazing positive and I did not use first morning urine for this OPK because I know it will come out positive if you do so and then a lot of people say that women with PCOS always get, get a positive OPK not me I have mild PCOS and like I said I'm regular my periods come regular and um, my ovulation tests are never always positive as a matter of fact I rarely ever have a line at all. So this cycle is, is very new to me. Um, so I emailed my doctor and let him know that my test was, my OBK was still positive and why might that be? He told me it may be picking up on other hormones and he went on to explain that LH um, tests rec- recognize HCG. So, it might be a good sign for me. Um, And then he asked me, was I having any other symptoms? And I told him about everything I just told you. And he said, okay, well, you know, when you miss tests, because, you know, a lot sounds promising, but I'm not going to get my hopes up and I'm just going to keep on waiting it out. The only thing that I wish will go away is the sore boobies because I like love laying on my stomach and lately I can't do that because oh it's just even even touching like that it's just painful so I don't know I don't know I'm just I'm hopeful like I said but I'm not putting I'm not getting my hopes up um at this moment and I just wish myself luck, though, and I wish all you guys luck because I'm running on 10 minutes and it's time for me to cut this video. <laughs> Anyways, I will update you when I get my results from my progesterone test. Peace.